ready to chat? Yay! Girl channel, my space to share, encourage, and inspire. My name is Denise, and this is Earth Vlog number 64. I am so happy to be here with you all today. Happy Sunday. It is, wait, let's tilt the camera a little. <laughs> it is Sunday, February 6th. Uh, my last episode was three weeks ago. Not too bad. <laughs> um, it's, it's been such a good three weeks. Um, I have so much to share with you. Of course, I have my notes all written out as usual. Um, how have you all been doing? I hope really well, because I have to say we've been doing really well. Um, we had a, well, before I get into that, let me just say, huge thank you all. You know I'm always full of gratitude and I say thank you a thousand times. So if you don't want to hear me say it this time, just fast forward because <laughs> um, I'm going to say it a lot. Thank you all so much for sharing your word with me, your word for 2022, um, for the amazing feedback of me sharing, of from you all of me sharing my word, um, the honesty and the Honestly, some of the vulnerability that was written in the comments was just so moving and so touching. And I am so happy that you all are so comfortable in this space and being here with me to share all of that. Some of the stories just touched my heart and the thing, your hopes, your wishes, um, just even your words, the uniqueness of your words were just, it was really amazing and I'm I'm so grateful to you all for sharing them with me. So thank you. Um trust is something that is really important to me and I feel like I feel that here in this space. I hope that you all do too. Uh I got a comment um on the last episode when I talked about the can retreat. Um and and this person was was really really honest in the way that they felt and I was honest in my response, but it was such a beautiful exchange. And I'm so happy that that can happen here in this space. I'm so, so happy for that. Um, just thank you. Thank you all so much. I really have the most amazing people following along with me. Um, I'm so grateful for this community. I really am. And the podcast, the channel hit a huge not hit, reached, <laughs> um, a really, really big milestone. I can't even believe that we are at 26,000 followers. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I have to whisper it because it, it's almost, wow, like I never, it sounds so cliche to say, well, I never dreamed that I would ever get to this point, but I really didn't. I really didn't. And if you've been following me for a while, then you know that I'm, I'm, I'm being genuine. I, I'm, I'm, I'm being honest. I really, my goal was with this channel was to come here and to share and encourage and inspire. As I said in my opening, it wasn't to see how many followers I could get and to build this, you know, become an influencer. I don't even like saying that word and I have to say it with a little snark. <laughs> um, it was not my intention um, to come here and create that in this space. It's just happened naturally and um 
over time, this is what, five years I've been doing this now. And wow, just wow. So thank you to everyone who has subscribed, especially lately. There have been so many new subscribers. Um, just thank you for being here. Thank you for following along with me, um, with my videos, with everything, tutorials. And this month, um, this first week of February is a really big milestone, but I'm going to save that and talk about that in a separate episode because I'm going to, I'll gush way too much. <laughs> right now. So I am going to save that for another episode um, that will be out shortly. And uh, yeah, so thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, it's been quite a journey. It's been an amazing journey. And there's some days when I just don't feel like recording and other days when I wish I had more time. And uh, you know the deal. I used to apologize all the time. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> so it's it's just, I'm, this is where it's supposed to be. This is where I'm supposed to be. And I'm just really grateful. So thank you very, very much for that, everybody. <clears throat> uh, yeah, it's good. It's really, really good. So another thing I want to talk about since the last episode, um, we had an amazing visit with uh, my son's doctor and I'm, I'm going to talk, I'm talking about this for a reason. And, um, while I still am keeping the actual name of his condition to myself, to just keeping that private for now, um, although I'm sure many of you have guessed, but anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, it's, I'm, I am still choosing to do that. I still want to share, I think more the emotional journey that goes along with something like this. And I wanted to say, um, it's been hard. It's been really challenging, but uh, I, I haven't wanted to knit, although I have wanted to knit because I feel like I need it for that release, but yet I can't always focus to knit. It's It's been such a push-pull, but we had a really amazing visit with our doctor uh, this past week, and a couple of days prior to that, um, I met with my friend Carolyn, and um, we sat in a cafe together, and I just just cried and cried and cried and it was such like everything I'd been building up just came flooding out and uh we're sitting in this cafe and she's literally holding my hand and comforting me and I didn't care who was looking and neither did she thank goodness and I feel like she anchored me in a moment and just I was able to just pour my heart out to her I, I really hope and wish for people to have someone in their life that they can really just ugly cry with. <laughs> that's that's to put it as simply as possible. Um, just to have someone that they can really trust and and share with. And I just told her, I something's got to give. Something's got to change. Um, there's so many things I want to do, but I feel so guilty if I pursue them because I want to spend time with my son. And it, ugh, it was it was everything. I told her everything. And um. And I prayed hard, guys. I don't, I don't discuss that side of myself here at all. Um, this is probably a first and, and a last for a long time. But uh, I did, I did, I prayed really hard for something to um, help me, and it did. This doctor's appointment was so amazing, and uh, I feel like it was a new, another, a brand new chapter in this whole journey, and it set me free. Um, it set my son free. Uh, it was because it, it not only was the physical addressed, but the emotional and the mental side of all of it was addressed for him as well as for my husband and I, for the caregivers. Um, it was it was a good, really good moment. And and um, it's interesting. My dad told me a story years ago. I'm rambling a little bit, but if you don't want to hear this part, just fast forward. Um, my dad told me gave me an analogy years ago to live by. And I've shared this on the podcast before. Um, the analogy was each of us is driving a bus and the passengers on your bus are, is your life. They are the passengers. They are your life. Um, it's all the things that make up who you are. And there's times when certain passengers will have a bigger voice, certain patches, passengers will get rowdy, some will be really, really, really quiet and you'll almost never hear from them. Um, and it's family, it's work, it's friendships, relationships, marriage, kids, um, cooking dinner, it's your, it's your, it's paying the bills, it's everything, it's all the things that make up life. And sometimes you get that one passenger that just gets unruly. 
And if you've ever been on a bus, especially a school bus, you always have that one kid that's loud and just the bus driver keeps saying, you got to sit in there pushing the buttons and coming up to the front of the, of the bus and stepping over the yellow line. And, um, trying to drive the bus, you know, and it almost becomes a struggle. Like they're really trying to get the handle out of the, the steering wheel out of the driver's hand and the bus is all over the road and things are just, you know, it's, it's dangerous. Um, and being able to control the passengers on your bus is really important. My dad said, I am driving my own bus and I have to learn to control those passengers and make them do what I need them to do for the safety of the bus, for my own safety. And I feel like this situation with my son is a really big, loud, (laughs) annoying passenger on the bus, almost a dangerous passenger on the bus. And we were able to find something this past week to tame that passenger, to quiet that passenger. And I'm, I'm driving my bus again, relatively calmly, and it feels really good. And it's freed me a little to do more um here and it's I, so much so much well I'll talk about more of that in the next I, I just went off on this tangent of <laughs> you know me guys um just to say I I it's scary when you don't feel like yourself um and it feels really good when you do again I think that's where I'm going with that so that said my mojo is back. I've just not been able to focus and, um, I'm, I'm focused and it's good. And that tied into my word with the autonomy, um, to govern myself. I've, I've regained control of myself and it's, it's, it's great. It's great. So that said, um, I will be sharing some more in another video. Um, really excited about that. But one big, big thing I do want to share here is uh, I'm working on a new sock pattern. (laughs) Yeah, (laughs) Uh, I am so excited about it. Um, As you saw in the videos, uh, I was winding some yarn. Um, I'm knitting two versions of the pattern. Uh, So one will be the gray yarn that you saw in the beginning and and this beautiful green. And um, just bursting I'm bursting I wish it was all done right now but I and I so I could just share it now but no not gonna happen but anyway um so new sock pattern um I've chosen my yarn chosen the name um there are going to be video tutorials to accompany the pattern um there are going to be two versions a long version or full length version of the sock as well as a shorty version of the sock um, all within the one pattern. So yeah. (laughs) And the name of the pattern um, and the inspiration and all of that behind it, I will share later, but um, it's happening. It's happening. It's finally happening. And it's been in my head for so long and it's, it's, it's it's happening. Um, I'm just grabbing something to show you. So here is here is the gray yarn. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, look at that. It's so beautiful. This is Fog. The name of this colorway is Fog um, by Legacy Fiber Arts, and this is on their Steel Toes base. And it is absolutely beautiful. And I also have, wait, let me sorry I realize I'm constantly like reaching really close to the camera um the other yarn is this well that doesn't look too pretty on the bottom but that's okay um is this beauty this gorgeous green right here oh it's so beautiful look at that it has this gorgeous this color is just so amazing and I don't I don't think I've ever knit with green but there's something about this. This isn't, this isn't like highlighter green. This isn't, I don't know, crayon green. This is, this is foresty green. This is, I don't know, fairy tale green. There's just something about it that's so, oh my goodness. I love it. I love it. I love it. And this yarn is a new to me yarn. Um, this was part of a kit 
from a sock knitting kit from the Wooly Thistle. And I talked about this in a past episode. I'll, I'll try to write the name of the kit down here. Um, the yarn is Exmoor yarn. This is the name. And it's Exmoor sock, four ply. These are, I have two. Um, two balls here, so 250 gram balls, but there's a lot of yardage in here. There is 200 meters. I don't remember what that is in yards. Um, it's, uh, you know, I don't remember, and I'm not going to try to guess. I will put it on the screen, um, but it's 200 meters, 50 grams, and the yarn is 60% Exmoor Blueface Superwash, 20% Coriadale Superwash and 10% Zwarbles, Zwarbles, Z-W-A-R-T-B-L-E-S. I know somebody out there is yelling at me right now because I'm destroying the name and I sincerely apologize. Uh, and it's also 10% nylon. So not a lot of ni not a lot of nylon in here. I, I'm really excited to work with a more natural yarn and it's 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 just so fitting for this particular pattern. So really, really excited. Yay. Um so yay. <laughs> so I've got all of that going on. I don't want to actually I have started knitting the socks. Um and I'm so tempted to show you, but I can't, I can't. I know you're saying, yeah, show us, show us, but no, I can't, I can't, I can't. <laughs> You gotta wait. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's what's that's what's happening there. And um, oh my goodness, it's so good. So I decide I'm participating in a February challenge. Um, I think this is maybe the third or fourth year. Creative CC on Instagram, um, she's a maker on Instagram, has been doing this fiber you wear, fiber challenge, February challenge called the fiber you wear -y challenge. I'll write that down here for you. And it's just to post, she gives you a month of prompts. So 28 prompts and each day you post on Instagram based or according to the prompt. And the prompt on February 4th was Olympic cast on because the Winter Olympics, I believe in Beijing, have started. So that was Friday, today's Sunday, so that was on Friday. And instead of a an Olympic cast on, what I decided to do was really push myself to get as much of the pattern knit. So two versions of the sock, knit, the pattern written up or a draft of the pattern written up and sent to the tech editor in two weeks. Can I do it? <laughs> um, I wanted that push to do it because while I'm excited to do this, it is still easy to get off track. And, you know, we, all of us makers have that habit of, oh, squirrel. <laughs> oh, let's new project. Oh, new, new pattern. And we get very distracted. So I felt if I gave myself a challenge to really push, um, push myself with this, even if I don't actually meet the goal and I'm not complete by the two weeks, I would have gotten so much work done on it and gotten it that much closer to being test knit. So, um, yeah, what the actual time frame is for the sock, I'm hoping to have it out by the end of the, by the end of winter. So within, I don't know, six weeks, maybe somewhere in that time frame. Um, and let's say six to eight weeks. So that would take us, if this is February, March, maybe by April, we'll see, maybe sooner, maybe later, but it's happening soon. So that's the point. Um, and I'm really, I'm really, can you tell I'm excited? I'm so excited. <laughs> I always do this when I'm excited. I'm so excited. <laughs> um, yeah, so that is coming really soon. Um, more to share on that later. Uh, and I know, I know, let me just, let me just stop it right now and say, I know I'm going to get comments about how can I test it? What's the test knitting process? How can I apply to test knit? I am trying to do that a little differently this time. Um, so I don't have any information to share with you yet on test knitting. Um, yeah. But I'm working on a way to make it as... 
friendly for the test knitters, um, to make it a more diverse pool of test knitters in terms of skill levels, um, and to not make myself crazy juggling it all in the process. So I'll let you know, because I, I need, I really want that to run smoothly. Um, and I know someone who can make that happen. So I've already reached out to her and we'll see what happens. So fingers crossed, stay tuned. I will have more, when I have more to share, I will share. So, okay. Um, excuse me, just wanted to say that. Um, so let's share some FOs. Let's do it. So I, I have to stop starting each segment with so. I realize I keep doing that. Um, I completed another easy beanie. I knit it for my sister. It's already been gifted, so I will put some footage in here as I'm talking. Uh, knit another one. Absolutely loved making it. And I made it for my sister. It has been so cold. So, so, so cold. Almost unusually cold in New York. I know it's winter, but it's been really cold in New York. And uh, I made this for her because she is a personal trainer and she's out and about in the city all the time, walking from appointment to appointment. So I just wanted to keep my little baby sister warm. <laughs> and it looks amazing on her. It really looks fantastic. I am so happy I was able to get that done for her. Um, that's something else that I really wanted to work on. Um, I don't like the term selfish knitter. I, I really can't stand it. Dare I even say I hate that expression. And I don't like using that word, but I really don't like the expression selfish knitter. Um, I knit and keep most of what I knit because it's a treat for myself. I am giving myself a gift. I'm giving myself time. And I like to knit for myself. Sometimes I don't even use what I knit. I make things and it just goes in a drawer, goes in a big cedar chest in the closet and I may never look at it again um but it's something I give and do give myself and do for myself but no buts let me let me take that out of my mouth right now that said I want to give away a little bit more of my knitting I feel moved to do that so I'm just going <clears throat> I'm just going with the feeling and for now giving some of it away and I know somebody out there is like oh you can send it all over here <laughs> I know what you all are thinking I know what you're thinking. Um, yeah, just I'm 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 knitting for family. I want to keep my family warm. I want to. I said this on Instagram in a post. I want to be with my family, even when I'm not. And by making them something that they can wear, I'm with them, even when I'm not. So, uh, my sister got a new beanie, uh, and I'm making one for my mom and making one for my daughter, and I'm gonna make another one for myself and. My yarn arrived. I don't usually share. I think I rarely share stash enhancement on this um, on this channel. I rarely, rarely do that. But this, I haven't even taken it out. Oh, something's bothering my eye. I haven't even taken it out of the plastic because I feel like once I do that, I have to cast it on immediately. And I'm focusing on my pattern. So this is going to have to wait just a couple of weeks and then I'll jump in. I need to focus on that. It's sitting right there looking at me like, don't even, don't even think about casting on anything. Else. Don't <laughs> I feel like the sock is doing that to me right now. Um, but the yarn did come. Okay. I'm going to, okay. Stop yelling at me. <laughs> I'm going to open it and just show you. I'm going to pull out one skein here. This is the gray. Look at that. This is, this color is called Selkie. S-E-L-K-I-E -E is the name of this color. And oh my gosh, Swanky DK. You got, if you guys can get your hands on some of this, it's worth it. It's, it's, it's 150% delicious. It's 80% superwash merino, 10% cashmere and 10% nylon, 250 yards, um, 115 grams in one skein. So it's really generous. Um, and it's by Magpie Fibers. So you can get this directly from the magpiefibers.com. Hmm. This yarn makes me so happy. Oh. <laughs> okay, tucking it right back in. 
before it makes itself comfortable and jumps on a pair of needles and I don't want it to yet. So I'm tucking it right back in the bag. Hold on, I'm getting it in there. <laughs> Hang on. Tucking it in, tucking it in. Okay, okay. It's back in, back in the bag. <laughs> so let's put that over there. Um, so I will, wait, I will tell you the names of the other colors that I got. Um, so Selkie, Cinder, Red Red Wine, and Wicked Game. So Selkie, what did I say? Um, Cinder, Wicked Game, and this is Red Red Wine. And the Wicked Game is sort of a plum kind of a color. Oh my goodness, just so put this down I have to put it down <laughs> if not I will just not sleep for the next two weeks and just knit straight 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 it's all I want to do right now um so yeah finished another easy beanie that is the easy beanie pattern by Brandy Cheyenne Harper it is a standalone pattern that can be purchased on Ravelry as well as her website I will link to everything down below and I also finished a oh, hold on I'm a little tangled. Hang on. Uh, I also finished a my socks from the last episode. All done. Let's just look at them for a minute, shall we? Oh my goodness. Aren't they? <sighs> There's a reason I'm called Earth Tones Girl. Oh my goodness. These colors. I, I, color is so subjective. I, I get it. And these colors may look like paint drying to some people. Boring, boring, boring. And to me, oh my goodness, I just see endless, endless beauty. This, I love how this dyer, her name is Laura. This is Winter Colors by Tiny Human Knits. Laura, if you're watching, I hope you're watching because I just don't know how she gets this gorgeous, I don't really know anything about dyeing, but I love that her colorways look like watercolors. That's what they remind me of. They remind me of watercolors and, oh my goodness, this looks like winter mornings. Look at that. And I did the contrasting heel and the toe in one of her mini skeins. And I said in the last episode that it reminded me of a tea that I drink called Mrs. Patmore's Pudding Tea. I love it so, and it's in perfect keeping with the colors in the in the in the whole colorway. Oh my gosh. Let's just bring that right up in there. I mean, holy cow. Holy cow. Love them. <laughs> and I have enough left over. I really want a pair of hand warmers out of this. So yeah. I don't even know if I'll ever wear these. I may just hang these on the wall for <laughs> decorations. Just leave them on the blockers and just hang them up over there somewhere, maybe there. I don't know, but just, oh my goodness, just gorgeous. So this is actually my No Fear Shorty Sock pattern with a longer leg. I just knit the leg longer. I don't know if you can hear my son in the background. I don't usually record on Sundays because it's family day and prep for the week, but... I had to grab the time while I could, so <laughs> here I am. Um, he is on a FaceTime right now with a friend playing a game, so they're having fun. Um, yeah, so here they are. Love them. They make me happy. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm supposed to be talking to you, right? <laughs> I got sucked in for a second. Um, feeling a little silly today, but silly is good. Silly is good. So yeah, here are my finished socks. I was able to finish a beanie and socks cast on two more pairs of socks and I also pulled out I don't have it in front of me you know I'm not even gonna talk about it because it's I don't have it here to show you so I will wait and show that later um yeah just taking a deep breath and um I'm so excited as you can tell from watching this episode about all that is on the horizon um Good things, new pattern, renewed energy. My son is laughing and happy. Um, I feel like there's there's peace has been restored to this house, which is really great. Uh, 
I'm even loving the camera angle on this today. I just, I don't usually, I don't know, this, the light's sort of been coming and going. I've been watching it as I'm recording. Um, I like this angle. I may do this more often. Uh, I don't usually record where you can see the window, but because to be backlit usually makes the person talking, there makes them dark, but this is really working well today. Um, I just, I said to my husband this morning, I said, I have to record today. The light is so gorgeous and I don't like rigging all of the ring lights and all that stuff. I don't, I don't have the space to do that. I don't have the time to do that. Um, to be honest, I'd rather invest my money in yarn than recording equipment, <laughs> but that's just me. Um, but yeah, it, the, it, I feel like the day is even celebrating with me. Look, look, it just dipped and now it's bright again. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so yeah, it's good. It's good. So pattern is in the works. Announcement for the channel coming next week um, or later this week because it is Sunday. So later this week, I'm going to be just updating the website a little bit, just visually um, updating space here on the channel visually. Um, yeah, it's... Another really good thing, I've I've been saying no to things. More of that self-governing, y'all. Just doing what works and what feels good. And it, I feel so free. I feel so free and so light and productive in a good way. Not for the sake of producing things to entertain, but just feeling a sense of accomplishment and enjoying what I'm working on. Um... That is so, so important to enjoy what you are doing. Take the time to enjoy what you're doing. Um, I am so fortunate and dare I even use the word privileged to have the time to, to I am a stay at home mom. Um, so I do tend to tend <laughs> in theory to have more time to work on things. I almost feel sometimes like that works against me, but um, making the, sh I've taken the time to move things around and rearrange and shift to put myself on more of a schedule to have more time to make and have more of a balance between my two jobs, my, my, my mom house wife job and my making earth tones girl job. And it's, it's good. It's good. The, there's a balance there for now. I, I don't know how, but I feel like it's taken me a long time, but I've hit it. And I may lose my balance again. It's not like it, this is permanent. I may lose the balance again, but right now everything feels steady and I am going to move and get stuff done while I have the feeling and it feels good. It feels good. So thank you for, did I, did I say so again? <laughs> Sorry. Um, thank you all for being here. Thank you for letting me be goofy today um, and be silly. I just, I feel really good. Hmm. That's a privilege. Just even feeling good. Um, yeah, I got really good news today. Just, it's good. It's good. So thank you. Um, have a great week. I will see you later this week. Yay. And, um, do more of what makes you happy, everyone. Thanks for being here. Thank you for joining me. You're all just the best. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. See you all again soon, everyone. Bye.